What's up everyone, Ghulam Ahmed with geneactivated.ca. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day, or a wonderful Rosa. Today is day seven. We're gonna get right into it. Today you're gonna need a stool again, okay, for this exercise. I'm gonna be introducing two to three new exercises in this, uh, in this exercise today, in this workout. So make sure you're still to the end and I'm gonna share another stretch with you, another great stretch for your hips and your lower back at the end, okay? So without further ado, let's get started. Today we're gonna do three sets of 50 mountain climbers. Remember last week we did three sets of 25, but this week we're gonna increase the intensity a little bit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the first 25 slow, and then we're gonna do the next 25 a little fast and pick up the speed, okay? So let's get started. We're gonna do three sets of 25 mountain climbers, okay? So you're gonna get onto the floor into push-up position, and then we're gonna go bring your knee to your elbow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, make sure to breathe guys, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, now we go faster, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well done, guys. I know that was a little bit more difficult than before, but you guys got it. You did amazing. Let's take a few seconds to breathe. 30 second break. Then we're going to start our second set. In through your nose, out through your mouth. You guys are doing amazing. Ready? We're almost ready to go for the second set. I'm gonna show you on this side. Let's get to the floor, get ready, and make sure you stay on top. Uh, your hands are right underneath the chest and stay on top of your body, okay? Don't like come up to here. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's pick up the pace. 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 2, 3, 4, 5. Ooh. Oh, that was 45? I think I messed that up. Let's do five more. Six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. <laughs> yeah, good job, guys. So that was not bad. <laughs> that second set is done. We're gonna breathe. <sighs> Hopefully you guys kept going and didn't stop at 45 like I did. As you can tell, I'm, I'm getting a little tired with these rose. <sighs> well, you guys are doing great, guys. Keep it up. We have another five seconds. We're gonna do the third set, and I promise I won't mess up this time. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Keep breathing, guys. Fifteen. You're doing great. Sixteen. Let's go. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, pick it up, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and fifty. Whew, good job guys, you're doing amazing. That was your three sets. Now we're gonna take a minute break and we're gonna get into the new exercise. It's called lateral lunges, okay? So I'm gonna take you how to do that correctly after we do the breathing, let's go. Very nice. Let's bring that heart rate down. In through your nose, out through your mouth. So as you can see, the intensity of the cardio workouts are gonna get a little bit harder every single week. So we're gonna start to build up that stamina, right? And really start to burn that fat. 
Okay, so now we're gonna get into how to do lateral lunges. So these are great to build the inside leg muscles here and the outside of your butt as well. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna stand together with your feet together, right? And then you're gonna take a step out. Now when you take a step out, you wanna make sure you take your hips back towards the wall behind you and sit down back behind you. At the same time, shift your knee this way and make sure it stays right above your heel. And then from here, you're gonna push off of this leg and this heel and come back to the same position. So from here, push and come back, one, okay? So again, we're gonna step out, take our hips back, knee shifts that way, right over our heel and push back, two. You also wanna make sure your foot is not like this and it's straight in line with the symmetry of your body. So right here, taking the hips back, bending the knee and pushing back, that's three. And that's four. It's gonna work the outside, inside, and the outside of your butt. Five. So we're gonna do eight per side. Six. Seven, beautiful. And eight, very nice. So now we're gonna step onto this side and we're gonna go this way. So again, step out, knee back. Sorry, hips back. Whoa, don't lose balance. Shift forward and push, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Beautiful, guys. So that was your first set done. Let's take 30 seconds to breathe. Very nice guys, so this is a great exercise to build the outside and inside of your legs, which is something that's lacking for most people. They don't do this, and because of that, their legs are kind of weak. So great exercise not to skip, and build those side muscles of your legs as well. One, they're very important. Two, good job, let's get going. Three, four, five. So you wanna make sure you're pushing from this leg, okay? Not pulling back from this leg. Six, seven, beautiful, and eight. Very nice, guys, let's switch sides. Ready, and go. One, two. Try to take your hips back behind the wall. Three, as far back as you can go. Four, keep your chest up, by the way. Don't drop your chest like this, okay? Five, six, seven, and push, eight. Good, okay, second set is done, let's breathe. One more set guys, hope you guys are enjoying these workouts. Please do give me some of your feedback if you're liking them. Make a video of you doing the workouts, send them to me on my Instagram, or just tag me. I would really, really appreciate that. Let's show your support. Ready? We're gonna do the third set now, okay? And let's get started from this side. One. Two, good. Three, beautiful. Four, you guys are doing amazing. Five, keep it up. Six, whoa. Seven, and eight. Okay, let's do the other side now, ready? Get, set, and go. One, two, push. Three, you wanna explode with the outside leg. Five, like this. Explode, six. Explode, seven. Explode, and eight. Okay, beautiful, three sets are done. You guys are just killing it this day, okay? So that's now your second exercise in the books. We're gonna do the third exercise. Let's take a minute break, let's breathe. And then again, we're gonna do another variation of a plank exercise today for your core. It's called a full plank, okay? So I'll take you through it in a second. Let's breathe first. Good. 
In through your nose, out through your mouth, nice and controlled. So for this exercise, the full plank, remember the regular plank is like this. This time we're just gonna do the plank in a push-up position. It gets slightly difficult and you have to learn to engage your core. So you wanna flex your butt, keep your body completely straight and make sure your hands are right underneath your chest and you're on top of your body, okay? So we've got a few seconds left, we're gonna keep breathing and then we're gonna get into position. So what we're gonna do is, right here, this is the push-up position, right? Hands are right underneath your chest and I just want you to straighten your legs Okay, make sure you're straight on top and just flex your butt and hold. 30 seconds. Five seconds in, keep breathing. You should start shaking in your core. Your stomach should be shaking. 10 seconds in, keep breathing. 15 seconds. 20 seconds, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Good job, guys. So that was your first set. We're gonna do three sets. Again, we're just gonna take a 30 second break, three sets of 30 second full planks. It's a different variation of a plank. Let's breathe. Make sure you wanna squeeze your butt during this exercise so you really feel it in your core. You start to feel it from here all the way to the top. You start shaking, okay? Keep breathing, guys. Okay, let's get going for the second set. Get into push-up position and we're up. Squeeze your butt and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six. Breathe, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Breathe, you're doing great, 18, 19, 10 seconds guys, let's go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. Beautiful, you guys are just too good today. So that is your second set. What I really wanted to emphasize is that what you wanna do is you kinda wanna crush your core. So while you're at the top, try to flex it, push your stomach out and you really start to engage the core more. The harder you crush, the harder you squeeze, the more effective it'll be for your abs and the more you're gonna build your abdominal muscles. So hope that was helpful. We got one more set, let's breathe. And then we'll do the last set. One last breath. Okay, let's finish it off guys. Finish strong, ready? And let's go, squeeze your butt, crush your core. One, squeeze, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So you could sense my voice was kind of vibrating there. That's because my core was shaking, right? That's what you want. You want the core to be shaking and trying to become more stabilized as you're putting into an unstable position. Wonderful, guys. That was your three sets. Let's take a minute break now. Breathe. Very nice. So guys, this is day seven of the Ramadan at home fat loss workout series. Now, this is gonna be at least day nine, I believe, of the Ramadan fasting month period. So by now, you should have been kicking into your fat stores and your ketosis if you've been following my diet, right? So make sure to, co to complement these workouts, you should follow the diet that I have posted uh, on my YouTube channel. So I'll put a link in the description below for that. So make sure you guys check that out and try to follow that so you get the full benefits of the fat loss process in this month, right? To accelerate that process. So now guys, we're gonna do our next exercise, which is gonna be glute bridges. We've done it before, we did 15 last week. Today we're gonna try to do 20. So we're gonna do three sets of 20 glute bridges to really target the butt. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lie down. Okay, and then from here, as we discussed last week, you wanna bring your heels back as close as you can get them 
Ideally, they want to be right underneath your heel, uh, your knees, but you can bring them back further if you'd like. And then from here, we're going to push up, squeeze for one second, and come back down. One, two. You want to make sure you're pushing through your heels. Push the ground down through your heels. Four, five, six. And at the top, you're trying to squeeze as hard as you can. Eight, nine, ten. Good job. Eleven, twelve. Beautiful. 13, 14, very nice, 15, you should start to feel a burn now, we got five more to go, let's go, 16, breathe, 17, squeeze, 18, 19, and 20, beautiful. So that was your first set guys, if you feel like this is a little too easy for you, what you can do is you can add a weight on your hips and then push that weight up. So I'm gonna show you that in the second set just to show you another progression, but you don't have to use a weight if you don't have one, right? You can use anything that you want, like we talked about the bottle of oil that I use for you guys, but I'm gonna show you with the weight now for the second set. So I have a 25 pound dumbbell here, right? We can use that. So what you do is you'd get onto the floor and you just hold this weight on your hips, okay, right here in a comfortable position and then get your feet in position and same thing you just push up with your keep this on your uh, hips keep your hand on the weight so that it doesn't fall off four and now this is going to add a little bit more difficulty five because you have to push more weight up six seven again you don't have to do this eight is just to show you a little bit bigger progression harder progression nine ten 11, squeeze, 12, 13, 14, beautiful, 15, 16, 17, almost there guys, 18, let's go, 19, one more, and squeeze, 20, beautiful, so that's how you add a progression to add some weights to it. That was your second set, good job. We're gonna do the last set one more time and then we're gonna move on to our last exercise which is gonna be working on your triceps again, okay? So I'm gonna put this away. All right, we're ready to go. Let's do the last set, okay? Show you from this side now. Ready, heels back. Hands down, push through the heels, and squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, beautiful, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, try to get as high as you can, guys, and really squeeze. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. For the last one, we're gonna hold it for five seconds at the top. 18, okay, ready? 19, almost there. Now we're gonna hold it, that's 20, hold. One, squeeze, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do 10 seconds, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job, guys. You must have felt a little bit more in the last 10 seconds that we were holding and squeezing that contraction. So that was beautiful. We got three sets in the books. Let's do the last exercise now. We're gonna take a break for one minute. Let's breathe. So for this, we're gonna need that stool, okay? So if you already have that handy, Let's get the stool and then we're gonna do the tricep dips like we did last week. Today we're gonna to do 15 and we're gonna do it with a little bit of a harder progression, okay? So we're gonna move up the reps, we're gonna do a little bit more reps and we're gonna make it slightly harder. So I'm gonna get, gonna get my stool over here. So I'm gonna show you from this side again. So again, you want you to put your hands here right beside the stool, right? So yesterday, I mean last week, we did it like this, keeping our feet close here, bending your knees. 
This week we're going to keep our legs straight, okay? And let's go. I'm kind of coming off the mat here, but that's okay. So here down and back. One, two, three, four. Keep the elbows bent. Five, keep your body close to the bench. Six, seven, push. Eight, push. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. Okay, so you don't have to do it straight if that was really difficult Keep your really legs bent like this like we did last time and just do it like that But make sure you're staying close to the bench. Okay, don't drift out like this and do that. Okay, it's bad for your shoulders I don't want you to mess up your shoulders during this. So let's take that break. I'm gonna move this back slightly There, okay Let's breathe. How was that? You should be feeling it in your tricep muscles guys. So let's breathe Second set ready, okay Again, here, I'm gonna keep my feet straight. You can keep them bent if you'd like, okay? And one, two, three, breathe, four, five. Good job, guys, you're doing great. Six, let's go. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, beautiful. So if you're starting to feel a little bit of pain in your shoulder, what you can do is you can turn your hands the other way. So instead of having your hands like this, right, put them on the side like this of the stool and it'll take out that little problem that you're having at the front of your shoulder. So we'll try that for the last set, okay? Breathe. Good job guys. Let's get ready to do the last one. So again, instead of having your hands here, you could put your hands on the side as well. And that might make it a little bit easier on your shoulder. So, and it might be easier to grip as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, almost there, 13, 14, and ah, 15, beautiful, good job guys. So, beautiful, that was your third set of the last exercise, tricep dips. Now we're gonna get into the stretches after a little bit of a break. This is one of my favorite stretches for the hip and the low back. It's called the seated piriformis stretch. It's a fairly easy stretch, something you probably already do on a regular basis, but you probably didn't realize it. And I'm just gonna help you and modify a little bit so you can really get a big, a big stretch in the back there. So let's breathe. Okay, so I think we're ready. So what you're gonna do is, you're just gonna take your stool, right? And we're gonna sit on it. And then what I want you to do is I want you to take one leg, okay? And put it on top of your knee here. Now from here, what I want you to do is just get your chest up tall, okay? And then start to lean forward. And as you lean forward, you'll feel a stretch right here on the side, okay? So if I pull you from this side, you'll feel a stretch right here in your hip and the side of your butt here in the low back, okay? So you're right here, you're gonna keep your foot like this. Try to push your knee down if you can, but keep your chest tall and try to reach forward and then breathe in your stomach. Ooh, you feel it right in the back, in the, in the hip socket there. As you can see, my hip is a little tight. I'm not able to move forward much, but you could lean a lot forward, more forward. So we're gonna hang out here for about 15 seconds. Try to push the knee down and then lean forward at the same time while keeping the chest tall. If you don't keep a chest tall, I can go a lot further, see? But I need you to keep the chest tall. Okay, good, let's switch now. So we're gonna do the other side. Again, put the knee, put the ankle on top of the knee, try to push this down, chest tall, and then ah, lean forward. 
And every time you breathe in your stomach and you breathe out, you should be able to go slightly more forward this way. Beautiful. Five seconds, guys. Beautiful. So you could do this a few times throughout the day. If you're someone that has a desk job, is sitting a lot all the day, or you know someone that has the same issues with their lower back, it's a great stretch. You can share it with them. You can try it on your own every single day. And that's it, guys. That's, there you have it. We're done now. That was your day seven in the books. Beautiful. Good job. You guys have made it this far. I'm super proud of you. Please continue to join me in the next days coming up into Ramadan. And if you get a chance, please do share these videos with your friends. I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time.